Being told you need radiotherapy is really scary. When I learned more about it and how much the treatment has developed over the years, I felt I was in very good hands. If someone who's spent their whole career learning about this advises it for you, it's very likely to be the right thing. Electa is a cancer care company and we provide innovative solutions through software and hardware, education and training to clinicians, doctors, the physicists, the engineers. And it's our role to make sure that we're giving them the best solutions possible to deliver the most precise and personalised care that they can to their patients. Here at Crawley, we design and develop linear accelerators for radiotherapy. In the last few years, Elect has made great leaps in terms of the LINAC innovations. Firstly, with agility. The linear accelerator basically accelerates electrons, um, which then hit a tungsten target and the radiation is produced. The radiation would then be uh, shaped. So while the gantry is traveling around the patient who is lying on the patient table, it can basically conform uh, almost exactly the, the shape of the tumor. So you would deliver a very precise amount of radiation at each point without damaging any healthy uh, living cells. Because we use 160 leaves, um, which reduces the, the radiation leakage through compared to our predecessor. And our most recent innovation is the Lecta Unity, which combines an MRI magnet uh, with the linear accelerator. We focus on areas, for example, uh, where we improve the patient workflow, so how you would set up a patient. And radiotherapy basically helps improve the lives um, and livelihoods of cancer patients and their families. I have always been interested in helping people somehow medically from being a small child. And for me, it was about the personal connection to patients and sort of helping them through a journey. It was important to me anyway, but then it became more important because uh, about six years ago, I lost my dad to lung cancer. So it's taken on a new, uh, a new importance in my life. And with cancer care, you really get the opportunity to get to know patients. You know, we weren't just treating their cancer. We were understanding that there was, you know, a, a mum or a dad or an uncle or an auntie and actually that's really important because you're not just a name, you're just not just a medical number, you are a person with feelings and, and a life outside of cancer and that's really important to us as uh, healthcare professionals and as a lector. The idea behind radiation therapy is that you treat the tumour and you want to avoid treating any critical structures or organs that haven't got cancerous cells. My name's Anna Britton. I'm a NHS consultant in clinical oncology, um, treating lung cancers. There is some amount of explaining at the beginning when you're offering them this treatment. Just taking them to basics, talking about radiotherapy as, as light, which is what it is, it's photons. And that, I think, makes it gentler sounding and safer sounding. It doesn't zap you, it treats. So it controls, it treats, it shrinks, um, it gets rid of. So radiotherapy compared to drug treatment um, carries far fewer side effects. So you might have uh, symptoms for a couple of weeks and then they abate, they get better. For example, if it's a pelvis treatment, you might find that you're going to the loo more or you're passing water more. So those are sort of very local symptoms. Whereas with drug treatment, as long as you're taking the drug, you will have the side effects. Radiotherapy is a course delivered over X number of weeks and then that's it. So the benefits to patients are great because they're not suffering those, with those side effects for very long. I was first diagnosed with a meningioma um, in 2015 and I remember when I was told the two words I was trying to write them down and actually struggled to write it down and I was aware that there was a small residue that wasn't removed by surgery. About a year ago, I saw a new surgeon who suggested that I might like to deal with the residue. 
I was really nervous before it started, particularly about the making of the mask. I knew that it was going to be a piece of thermoplastic put over my face and that I would have to wear no hair products and uh, t-shirts in case the material stuck to me. So I thought that would be quite unpleasant. In fact, it wasn't bad at all. And I tried to think of it as a sort of expensive wax facial. The treatment itself wasn't at all bad. The most time consuming thing was going to and from the hospital. Every single member of staff I met at the radiotherapy department, from receptionist to um, therapeutic radiotherapists, were wonderful and they explained every step of the way. They had a great sense of humour and you really feel you have a rapport with them. When the treatment is going on, you have mixed feelings because everything in your body is telling you that radiation is a toxin but yet you know it's there to get rid of the tumour cells which would cause you a lot more harm. It's interesting, even though I haven't been a radiographer for so many years, you never forget the patient. And if I had to say any part of my job now that I miss, it's that patient interaction and their journey. That informs everything that we do. And I still draw on those experiences I can still see their faces when you ask me that question of some of the patients that I treated, um, some of the patients' relatives that I met. I could be a mechanical engineer in, in most industries uh, with the skill set that I have, um, but at Electa I'm actually making a difference uh, to patients around the world who are dealing with um, a life-altering disease uh, like cancer. It's a stressful time and that small amount of care that they got for that small amount of time they were in a radiation therapy environment was very precious to me. It was a great learning experience and something that's always very close to my heart. And if people haven't been in the clinic when they join Electa, we encourage them to do so because even if you only get half a day, seeing that, feeling that, that stays with you forever. There's no reason nowadays where most patients, if cancer is caught early enough, they can have their treatment and move beyond this portion of their life and have a, a lovely, uh, successful life doing whatever they want to.